Welcome everyone to uh, my, another one of my blended tutorials and this is a continuation of the earlier one uh, where I was showing you how to make the uh, beer bottle from scratch. Now what I've done here, I'll show you, this is, uh, <clears throat> I was showing you the various ways you could uh, save different versions. This was, uh, I've, earlier I worked on this one and I've added a label to it so what I'm going to do is show you how to put a label on today. Just give you a peek at this one. This is the rear bottle five, but we're going to start from scratch, and I'm going to we're going to work on beer bottle six version. So we're going to open that, and that was the one that I had made green as opposed to brown. Now that's where it looks like rendered. So what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, go from scratch, and I'm going to show you how to put the label. On. So we're going to go down. To solid mode here. We're gonna, first we're going to uh, make a few things where we can't select them so we can uh, focus on the bottle. Uh, I'm going to make the planes invisible. Uh, that would be the back wall back here. And the other one would be the floor. Like so. We're going to make those uh, invisible and unselectable, along with our lights. We're going to make them invisible. And we're going to focus on the beer bottle. Now, we're going to go to the front wall, though. Now, I did have a little defect in this one, but I think we'll be able to do this uh, without too much interference. And we're going to make the uh, camera unselectable for the time being. Alright, so on the uh, on the bottle we got a sub sort modifier. Now, if you want to make a change to something, like what we're going to do is put a label on here, you can turn this off. So you can uh, focus on doing a little editing on it. And we're going to get this in edit mode. And the first thing we're going to do here, let's see, we've got an empty, we're going to make this we don't want fields like that either. We don't want to move that around right now. So we just got the bottle and the camera can't be selected. So anyway, what we're going to do here, I think I'll put an edge loop in here to uh, to put place our label on. I'll show you how to put a seam in this thing. We're going to add a ring there. Control R. Here. And what I'm going to do here, I've already got this uh, a thickness on this, so we have to be a little bit careful as to where we're going to put our label. And mainly we're going to have to be watch out for the inside of the bottle. So we're going to put this in a face select mode and look at it from the top and do a B selection right here. Man. And we're going to hide. Uh, let's see, let me do this a little differently. Select. So we're going to hide that much by pressing H. Now, oh, we're going to have to get the see through mode here so we can uh, hide it. So, see we have an interior here, and we don't want to, we don't want to uh, mark any seams on the interior. So, what we're going to do here, let's see, let's look at it from the side real quick. And this is going to be our label area. So, we're going to hide some more of this. Zoom out a little bit. <coughs> this and we're going to hide this bottom portion here. Now you'll notice there's an interior section in there. We don't want to uh, work on that. We're going to go back in the head select mode temporarily. And I'm going to turn off the C through. And we're going to go to our circle select. Uh, 
<coughs> there would be a right click to get out of it. Go back into it here. Oop. I want to be in the face select mode. And, uh, when you're doing a circle select, you can just um, right click to get out of it. So we want to hide this interior portion there. Now all we have is this remaining piece here. I'm going to go back and hit select. This is going to be where our label is. So you can all um, right select these edges here. And this other edge here. What you do is control E, you want to mark the seams on this. So now we got a scenes mark. Now we can do Alt H to unhide everything and deselect. So we got here. This is going where our label is going to be attached, or it's going to be as part of the surface. And what I find you can do, you can go in here and just hit L, kind of like when you're doing you're doing your UV select. But first, uh, we're going to unwrap this. Let's unwrap this first. Let's go to our UV editing. You unwrap. You see, we got our label down here. Now we want to keep everything inside. And if you uh, left click, you can get that uh, cursor right there in the middle. Hit L. I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to make this as big as we possibly can. This is a label. Kind of maximize this a little bit. When you're sizing things, if you're really close to the center, it sizes up real big, so you get far away, and it's, it slows it down a little bit, so you can do that. All right, so what we're going to do now, we've got our UV map. We're going to save this, and we're going to work on this in Photoshop. <coughs> so we're going to save, save this as uh, beer bottle 6 is what we're working on. We'll just call this beer bottle six UVs. That's the way I so I'm going to export that. And now we can go back to our default mode temporarily. And uh, <coughs> what you can oh, let me get out of default over that here. Yeah. What we're going to do here? If you hit L. Just like you do in the UV mode, this will select this patch here, and this is this is where our label is going to be. So what you can do, if you really want to, and you can do this, you don't have to do it, but maybe it's important. I'm going to assign that as a group, like so, and just hit assign. And now you go back into your viewport, Control I. You can. Uh, <coughs> Well, actually, this uh, undo this real quick. Oh, right, we got this. We got this assigned, and we're going to give this a material. We're going to add a material because this is going to be our label, and it's going to be a diffuse. So you're going to call this label. I got uh, L A B E L label, and we're going to assign that material. Hit Control I. We're going to take this material, and this is going to be our glass. We're going to assign that to the inverse selection. Now we're going to go back to A. All right. So we'll just check this real quick. That's going to be our label, and we've got it assigned as vertex group if we need it. So we got the all set there. So let's just do a let's just check our work real quick. We'll go on to the camera view and render. See if we got a okay, so there you go. That's gonna be your label. Now the next step, we're gonna go over to Photoshop. In the meantime, it's always a good idea to save, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna save as we're gonna say this is a different version. Uh, if we're gonna save this is number seven. We we'll just hit the plus sign. And that's gonna replace the one I had earlier. Let's 
see if we can get the plus on again. I'm going to make it number eight. That's going to be number eight. So we're going to save that. <coughs> now, if you uh, if you don't have a lot of memory, you can uh, exit out of uh, Blender temporarily. And I got plenty of memory, but we're going to just go over and we're going to focus on our label. And then we'll get back into Blender. Alright, so we were all in Photoshop. And, uh, I'm going to open that label. And that was from uh, Bear Model from Scratch. Uh, it's a tutorial. We want the one of the files we want to So here we go, there's our Bear Model A. And here's our beer bottle 6 UVS. So there's our UV layout on the first layer. And what you want to do here is you want to make a second layer. Then go down to layer 0. You can call this uh, UVs. And take your magic wand. Select all these areas. zoom in a little bit because there's a small area there on the side. No, no, okay, we don't really need that. So we're going to go back to W. Do this, this, and uh, if you hit Q, you can go and click select. So we're going to make this a mask. And if you alt click on it, I don't want to do, I don't really want to color the bottle, so we're just going to get a uh, rectangle here. Cover that up. Go black. Well, wait a minute. Let me back up a little bit here. I'm going to invert this image. Now, I'm going to take a rectangle and fill it with black. There we go. So, click back out of that. You can hide this. And uh, I want to fill this with a color. And I've been using kind of a uh, light yellow color to put a little noise on it. Just like that. That's what I did last time. I'm going to fill this. Oh. Okay. That's that. I'm going to add a little noise to this. Like so. And then we're going to blur this just a little bit. Make it look like some uh, parchment paper or something like that. I'm going to do one more thing here. We're going to do a layer of that. We're going to put a uh, stroke on the inside. We're going to make it <coughs> red. Like so. And we're going to make a... Uh, oh, we're just going to hit T here for text. We're going to make some text here. I think I was using 48 points. Let's go to 60. So we're just going to say, uh, oop, that another color. We'll make it black. I guess I didn't put that layer strip in there. Okay. So we're just going to say, uh, Another font here. It's an expensive font. I like a lot. Oh, CC Wall Scroller. We use bold talent. So we're just going to say just plain here. And then we're going to kind of move this toward the middle a little bit. Let me put that layer effect in that layer style. I'm going to put the uh, red and we want it on the inside because we want to show up the outside. Alright, so that's uh, we're going to save this and you know if you notice uh, if you 2.7 2.7 alpha blender uh, accepts a <coughs> accepts 
Photoshop files natively, so you can uh, grab all the six UVS photos. Well, you can save it as a Photoshop file and drop it in the image section. <coughs> so we're going to close this for now. We're going to go back over to Blender. I'm going to open Beer Bottle 8. It's one of the time. All right. So we look at this in the texture mode. Oh. Okay. Oh, we haven't got the, uh, we haven't got it attached yet. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so if we go over to our nodes, oops. we're going to put a node panel here. And we've got two materials we should have on this. we got our label. So this is our label. And we just add, or you can do shift A. And add a and it's texture. And then go over here. So we'll use PS Beer Bottle 6 UVS VSD. Open that image up. And attach it. Now, so there you go, and the texture mode it shows up. <coughs> so now we can uh, we can go back and we can turn our sub sub modifier back on. And you notice it does subdivide the UV, so it's going to be nice to us. So we'll turn a smooth shading back on. We'll, la -da -da, we'll turn the back wall and the floor back on. And there you go. We'll look at this in rendered mode. Oh, better turn some lights on. And there you go. There you have it. Now, <coughs> I just did a really simple label. <coughs> if you really want to get exotic, you can go to Illustrator and then bring it into Photoshop and just really make something really fancy. Uh, <coughs> one thing I did notice that uh, I guess, you know, this is important marketing. Now, we can see all the text if we were looking at this. But if, when, you're doing your, when you're doing your Photoshop, just show you this real quick. <coughs> and we'll open up that, uh, this PSD real quick, this Photoshop file. When you're uh, putting your text and stuff on there, if you want it to be visible, I mean, or more visible, uh, I'll just give you a quick example. If you try to stretch this all the way to the edge, so you go all the way to the edge and hit enter and save. <coughs> and then you go back over here. Now, this doesn't refresh automatically, so you have to close it and open it back up. I'll show you what I'm getting at here. <coughs> As you see, when you take it all the way to the edge, if you're marketing, if you're marketing beer or anything, and you put it on the shelf, and somebody looks straight at it, they're not going to see all the words. So what you want to do is you want to always compensate a little bit <coughs> and give this a little padding or a little gap on the side and pull it in like so, and then save it. And go back over here to Blender real quick. Close it and open it. Maybe they could put a refresh button on there. I don't know, maybe the developers could work on something like that. But see now, if you're sitting on, if it's sitting on a shelf and you're looking straight at it, uh, the text will, the uh, the brand or whatever you're going to be, be visible. So that's it for this uh, tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it, and hope you have fun uh, making your own uh, brands of beer, uh, just whatever you want to do. Maybe make a parody type beer. Alright, well, thanks for viewing. I'm out of here.